Welcome back, everybody, to Ziggy Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, what are we doing? Let's look, what are we doing? So we beat Hush of the Lilith, so that's awesome. We have eaten, we've beaten most things. A lot of this stuff I've already beaten characters with, but, like, they're not showing up on our post-it note. Who do we still have to beat the Hush with? Lazarus, Azazel, Judas. Man, most of the characters. Um... I don't know. Uh, let's do... I kind of want to save Lazarus for later. Let's do Judas. No, this is greed mode. Oh, of course it's greed mode. Apologize. New run. Not greed mode. Hard mode. Judas. My bead. Alright. So, here we are. Playing as Judas in the basement here. So... Jesus. That was not a good start. It's not a... Excel floor, is it? No, okay. Here, let me give you the seed. The seed is MTYA47KL. Um, 40, Agent 47, kill, please. Um, as Judas, what do we want? Well, we want more damage. Always more damage. We almost died there. That was terrifying. <laughs> um, more damage. We want survivability. Judas already, like, on the regular is going to be moving a little bit faster than most characters, I think. Just because his starting base damage is so strong. Pyro is great. The immunity to explosives is going to be nice. So that things like what almost happened a second ago don't happen at all. <laughs> um, you know, we're still very weak at the beginning of the game. So first floor boss, who's fairly difficult, could be a challenge for us. We might get his spirit heart there. We did not. Although a key for the next floor, not a terrible thing to have. Um, I hate rooms like this. The passion. Okay, if we're playing it that way, we're playing it that way. Um, Penny Drop's okay. I would love to get five cents to facilitate a arcade on the next floor. It's better to, you know, have that opportunity than not. Or so we can buy a Spirit Heart on this floor. Either one is good, but I see a tinted rock over here, and that could mean good things for us. So. Hmm. <laughs> it's the most roundabout one cent and half a, half a heart I've ever had to, had to get. So. We've been rused twice. I think we might actually want to grab a spirit heart on this floor. Um. So that we can facilitate a deal with the devil on the next one. So we're going to check out our shop. Shop contains options. And more options. And I actually like the idea of more options, so we're gonna go with it. You should let me know if you're playing the seed which one you go for, but I'm definitely gonna go with uh, even more options. Because I like the idea of like twice as many choices in our in our item rooms. So I know that I was just saying that the arcade would be cool, but I think this is gonna work out for us a little bit better. So as long as we're getting to our Loki's horns. It's not great, but it's a tiers upgrade and it's could be free if we had like the d8 or something let's go down and let's fight the boss okay book of belial says this guy's gonna die pretty fast <laughs> um you know judas is very strong not be surprised if we had no problem for a little bit the big thing is taking dumb damage which i've been doing a lot of lately so we have to be kind of careful old bandage is okay is there another red heart that we can pick up at some point back here to kind of make sure that I don't die immediately. And I want to check if we can pick up a hangman card on this floor. You know, that could be all the difference. Um, <coughs> that could be our secret room. Secret room can't be on these two. So I think I know which one is our secret room at this point, which is good. But, um, do we want to spend our last bomb on a, on a whim here? And I think the answer is yes. And I was wrong. <laughs> so I don't know. I have no idea. It seemed like a very viable place for the secret room, and I'm, of course it was not. So, on we go to the next floor. 3 minutes, 27 seconds on the first floor is a long time, but we also explored everything and backtracked a little bit. So, you know, there are reasons. We didn't do it all willy-nilly, and we have to prioritize our item rooms at this point, because they're going to be very important to us, because they're going to have twice as many items on them. Um, like, as much as we could use our key to go in this shop bomb the the arcade machine 
Okay, I'm actually going to use Book Belial on this room. I'm more worried about myself taking damage on this room than on the boss. Um, let's see. Do we go fight the boss right away? I don't think so. I think we go look for our item room. Let's be real here. Without Book of Belial running around. No spirit hearts. Oh, okay, we do have a Book of Belial charge here. Let's do it. Let's go fight the boss. Monstro. Oh, small room. Fat Monstro sucks. There's nothing I can do. I couldn't get past it. All right. Well, we can say goodbye to our deal with the devil. If you got to deal with the devil on this run, on this floor, you're gonna have to let me know what you got. But um, like he's too fat. I can't make it around him. It's the worst. All right. Well, that's okay. Spoon is all right. It's a speed upgrade. Not a totally, like, unnoticeable one, but I think there are better ones out there. I would love to blow you both up. Don't know if that's possible. Totally was. Safety scissors, pretty okay. Turns troll bombs into regular bombs that we can use later. Troll bombs don't really provide any danger to us right now because of our, uh, our pyromaniac state, but, um, you know, the fact that we can now turn them into our own bombs that we can use for later consumption is a nice little benefit. Alright, so, this is going to be big for us. Hopefully we get something good in here. Ooh, Dry Baby or Sticky Sack. I think we have to go with Dry Baby. The Necronomicon effect and also the ability to use it to block shots is enormous. I know it costs us an extra bomb, but if we're doing somebody like the Hush, having... Doing somebody like the Hush? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> if we're fighting somebody like the Hush, um... We want to have something to help us, you know, block shots. And Dry Baby will both block shots and deal AoE damage. So, I think if we do make it to the Hush, you know, something like Dry Baby could be one of those secret little, like, hidden advantages that, like, maybe most people wouldn't think of. But is still very important. Um, I'm tempted to go in here and buy a Spirit Heart, and I think I will. Alright, well, if we're coming in here, we're going to get our five cents worth, or not. If we ran out of bombs, we're out of keys, we don't have refresh. All things said, that was kind of a bad move, but alright, we'll head, keep going down. Um, we've had a pretty good track record of getting to the hush lately, so I'm not too scared. Crystal Labyrinth is a little bit terrifying, because we're, we're already one deal with the devil down, and uh, to find ourselves on a floor where we can be potentially become... You know, even another one further behind the eight ball. It's a little terrifying. But it also will speed up our overall time, I think, so. That's good. Oh, I'd like to stop missing, or at least start killing enemies here. <laughs> These bats would be a great start, but they have so much HP that I guess that'll never happen. There we go. Cool. Eyeless ooze guys, please. Oh, we're fine. They do a lot of damage if they hit you. So, gotta be careful. Not always smart to play chicken with them like that. Uh, get rid of the corn flies! Our damage is not great. The fact that it's taking us two hits to kill a corn fly. Um, you know. Two hits of damage on this room. I'm like, I'm. Okay, we're gonna use Book of Belial so we can get rid of these corn flies fairly quickly. The Duke of Corn Flies, man, kicked my ass. We have to be careful, but if we find a bomb, you know, everything's dead. Heal ourselves. Oh, right. Turns the bomb into something that we can use. Forgot about that. Safety scissors. Not bad. Just uh, wasn't expecting it. Forgot that that was a thing. Oh, my God. We gotta drop the bomb. Um... Huh. Hmm, 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 I feel like our damage should be better, and so I'm playing very poorly. Playing chicken with too many enemies that we shouldn't be. Uh, our deals with the devil have been soiled, basically. We're, we're out of deals with the devil. So we get, like, goat head as some kind of miracle. But, um, it's not super likely. Okay, that kill everything? Almost. Again. You know, Dry Baby, doing his work. 
We could still potentially get deals with the devil. We just have to make sure we don't take red heart damage on the bosses. Um, there's this tinted rock. Oh my god. We could, we cannot get a single spirit heart on this run. <laughs> the world will not let us. Okay, almost ran into a pellet there. It would have been bad. Are we boned? Oh, oh my god. This run's kicking my ass, man. Does that mean it's over? No, of course. I'm going to do my best to still make it, but going rather slow. Stars card's great. Both of those are pretty terrible. <laughs> All things considered, we don't really want either. Spirit heart, spirit heart. Hmm. Hmm. So I think we fight the bosses. Frail's interesting. I think he's... He can... If you don't know his attack patterns, I think Frail can be a little scary. But I think after you've fought him a few times, I think he's a, actually a fairly simple boss. Um, he has pretty low health. You just kind of have to watch out for his, uh, his secondary... His de secondary splitting shots. And his, um... His brimstone laser here. So just like circle around him, circle around him. The moving brimstone laser has been a big, a big part of Afterbirth so far. Oh my god. He fired out at like Mach 10 speeds. We're fine. We're fine. Still got him. Cat of Nine Tails is great. Uh, before we fight the next boss, I kind of want to get a charge for Book of Belial. Okay, cool. We have plenty of damage. My heart stopped for a second there. <laughs> I was like, no, don't do it. Don't do something so dumb. Megamon, I'm kind of glad I did go grab a uh, a charge for Book of Belial. Because I think we could potentially run into trouble on this boss fight. Like, the faster we kill him, the less we have to dodge. Which is good. I don't trust my dodging skills right now. We're fine. We're okay. Matchbook means we're going to get some bombs and uh, deal with the devil. These are great deals with the devil. So here's what I'm thinking. Bam, Dark Bomb. Bam, Abaddon. Bam, Spirit of the Night. So we have Flying, we have Dark Bomb, we have Spirit of the Night. We're running on all Spirit Hearts so we can kind of turn any Red Hearts we find into... Spirit Hearts, we want to find our other item room. And we've cleared the caves at 11 minutes, so we want to be head down in the next minute or so, but I would love to find our... That was bad. would love to find our item room, because I think they are going to be a huge help to us. Go, 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 grab it. Cool, Spirit Heart. Awesome. Exactly what I was looking for. I would rather not leave behind an item room on this run, and we're going to be moving a lot faster now. We have significantly better damage. You know, we have the ability to fly. We're a little bit faster. We have all the things that we really want to make this run work. Especially, you know, Judas with uh, high damage, mobility, and the ability to regenerate health. It's very strong. A bunch of really bad spacebar items on this floor. So, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, we're just going to head down to the next one and call it there so we're a little bit more on time <sighs> um i wouldn't i would be okay with another crystal labyrinth but we didn't get it and that's all right okay get rid of the brimstone spider triple spider is not too scary its range is much worse than the other ones so as long as we're staying out of range of them it's no problem cool so What's the plan here? What do we want? Take less damage. Let Dark, Dark Bum do his job. You know, make sure that he's um, regenerating as much HP for us as possible. Clear these rooms fairly quickly if we can. And uh, basically stack up HP for the Hush fight. We're probably strong enough to fight him right now. I wouldn't want to fight him right now because we'd have a few minor issues, I think. But um, for the most part, we'd be in an alright position. 
Golden Key says we have to do this. Okay, we can use Book of Belial on this room. I don't feel bad about it. What is the card? Sun card. Okay, so that helps us with mapping, in case we need to get it. Um, I kind of want to be on track for boss rush. Not necessarily so we can do boss rush, boss rush, but so I know that we're on track for, uh, for the hush as well. Okay. I would love piercing shots. That'd be cool. Alright. Decent amount of consumables out of that. I'm okay with it. I know Pyro isn't as strong for us because we don't have red hearts right now, but the fact that we are immune to blast damage is still pretty strong. Like, it's still a great upgrade. Okay, remember, we can fire over rocks now. We have Spirit of the Night, which is a great pickup. It's a very good defensively focused item. Oh, the, the curved tiers are going to throw me off a little bit, but mostly we're fine. Okay. No black hearts. It's always looking for. Let's hurry it up a little bit. We want to be out of this floor by 16 minutes. Can we finish this floor in the next two minutes? Maybe. Um, it's going to be close, I think. I would be probably closer to like 1630 is what I imagine we'll be out of this floor by. If I keep playing okay. <laughs> as long as I'm hitting enemies and, you know, not missing and doing half decent damage. Using my, uh... Book of Belial charge in the right place. And I think we can use the Book of Belial charges in like big rooms and stuff. Not have to worry about it too much. Because you know, you get double charge from those, so. Are you a wizard? Sucks. <laughs> but we'll go in here anyway. Oh, we don't even have to worry about this room. Just sit here and fire shots in. No problem. Would love to not have Are you a wizard for here. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Just firing shots in at weird angles. Worked out. Took us a little bit longer than I would have liked, but happens. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Zombies, again, man. They're going to be some of our worst enemies because they're going to take us time to kill. We don't have any, uh... Aside from fear shots, we have no, like, guaranteed way to hit them from behind, so... Might be an important enemy to take into consideration and how long it's going to take us to clear rooms. Little sack. Okay. Battery charges. This is what I wanted. This is our item room. This is the most important room that we have. So we have twice as many options for it. Didn't realize that there was a, a leaper keeper head. Um, magnet's not very good. Neither is spider baby, but we had to take one. <laughs> um, spider ba baby is definitely better. Okay, there's a spirit heart. One spirit heart for three bombs is probably not a great trade, but I'm more overall worried with our our damage and our HP here. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So, again, we'd probably be doing a lot better on time if I hadn't been hit there. Again, not a terrible thing. We might end up using the sun card on the next floor just to make sure that we're going through it fast enough. Um, it's a kind of a shitty room. Okay. Okay. Get rid of the mom's wall masters. Check our shop. Mapping item would be great. Greed is okay, I guess. I have money for the next shop if we want it. Don't really want it, but we'd have it nonetheless. Wheel of Fortune, whatever. Um, hopefully this is the right direction. I would be astonished if it wasn't. And we might actually start bombing out of these rooms. So let's start doing that. I don't need to bomb out of this room. Going plenty fast enough to do this room, fine. World card. Okay. Get out of here. Get a chance to deal with the devil. Perks. Alright. We're a little bit behind schedule. <laughs> Not where I want to be, but it's where we are. And there's, we don't really have a choice in the matter, but that's okay. Okay. What do we want? 
I would love to pick up mom's key at some point. That way when we get down to the hush fight. Okay, I was kind of hoping that might happen. Krampus. Not what I wanted for my deal with the devil. But we'll live with it. I might actually take Krampus' head. Though, I think overall... The Book of Blyle, I think, is better. I hope we get... Um, lump of coal. I can't... I can't justify Krampus' head. Let's go down to the next floor. Um... Three and a half spirit hearts here. Let's do it. It's gonna make our life easier. And I, I'm kind of glad we did because we'd be chasing that item room for a while. If we didn't. Fate. Sure. Gives us a chance at more red hearts. Later. Which may not be the best thing. I actually don't know what it does. I don't know why I picked it up. It's essentially just a HP upgrade in like a weird form. But it's one extra hit on this floor. Um, yo, Demon Judgment, go pick this up. Can you pl please be slower, if you would. Awesome. Um, how this room sucks. Oh, uh -huh. sorry, I uh, just does. <laughs> our our one enemy that we're not the huge fan of right now, and there's just it's our whole room full of them. Again, they're not necessarily hard enemies. Kind of a pain in the ass. It's bad stuff. All right. Thank you. Taking Monstro's lung because it's one of my favorite items by far. And uh, go up to the shop. Hopefully, there's something cool in it. Oh, it's gonna. It takes our our tier rate of fire is super bad. We need a tiers upgrade. Uh, we're doing alright damage, but, um, yeah, rate of fire is pretty trash. Would not mind picking up a rate of fire upgrade. Like, we're doing sweet damage. Are you a wizard? No, thank you. Hourglass, not super helpful. We'll pick up the, uh, card. Two of spades. Of spades. Okay, drop a bomb here, here. Spirit heart for our two bombs. Not a terrible deal. Okay, and on we go. Go pick that up. Go pick it up. Spirit Heart's great. Okay. The fact that we're not on time for boss rush scares me a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. Please and thank you. Awesome. Uh, there's another key up there. Okay. It's up our damage a little bit. Takes us forever to charge a shot. Scaries. It scaries. It scares me a little bit. Oh. Okay. But our shots when they land do some good work. Which is cool. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Spirit heart. Okay, real quick. Doesn't matter which way we go, so that means we're going Polaroid because it's more fun. And, uh. Let's keep going. Um, you're a one. God. Dang it. Alright, we're fine. Play a little bit smarter than we are. Black Dingle is very dangerous. His uh, charge attack is super fast, so. Gotta be careful about that. Extra spirit hearts are always welcome. We gotta get through these floors fairly quickly. Ten minutes to get through two floors is not bad. And considering that we're not, like, going for item rooms or anything, you know, that's extra time shaved off, but the rooms themselves are going to be fairly difficult. I would love to pick up, like, a torn photo or something from a boss fight, but we only have one more, so. What else? Oh, we could pick up, like, a pact from, uh, from a deal with the devil. That would be great. Just a tears upgrade in general would be awesome. Just make sure that we're firing a little bit faster. So right now we are not firing the speed that I would want to be firing. Especially going down to a boss. Where we're going to have some issues if we're not doing damage fairly quickly. I don't know how our range is either. Range is not great. It's okay. But it's not where I'd want to be against the hush. Because uh, you kind of want to stay outside 
far enough away that you can get the tears from the hush to s separate a little bit more so you can dodge from them better. And right now, our tears are fairly close together. But I'm proud of the, of the fact that we're uh, going a little bit faster than normal and we're going to probably actually make it. But, um... Like, I've been happy with how consistently I've been able to make it to the hush fight. I haven't been happy with my play, but I think it's just because I'm also just trying to play a little bit faster than usual. Um, because that's kind of the, the necessary thing to do when you're going for hush. Go on. I'm hoping that, uh, what makes you small is not bad. I'm hoping that Dry Baby does a little bit of work when it comes to defeating some enemies back there. Oh, God. Can you please? Yeah, thank you. Spirit Heart. Oh, my God hate it. Alright. Feared it might be distraction. I was like, we're going the right way. It just felt like we were slightly off. Devil card? I mean, doesn't do anything in combination with our, uh, Book of Belial there, so... Not the best choice, but we'll accept it. I'll take it. Whoa. This is Joker card. Much more acceptable. If we don't get to deal with the devil on this floor, we'll get one on the next one. So on and so forth. Until we don't get a deal with the devil. Yeah, Joker card's great. Oh. All these, like, far away individual enemies are gonna be the death of us. Just cause it's gonna take us so long to charge our shots. Okay, that's not where we're going. Pick up whatever consumables we can. card. Thank you. Alright, out. Alright. We're still on track for time, which is good. That's where we want to be right now. Pill is perks. It's a good pill, but we're going to stick with the Joker card. Death. Hey, buddy. Oh. Takes us an abysmally long time to fire our shots. Which scares me a little bit. We're also definitely not getting a tears upgrade from death. We're gonna get a cube of meat, which isn't bad. Especially for fighting the hush, but. Do we take a little brimstone? I think we have to. Especially if we're doing charge shots like we are. Because by the time that we have an ability to fire ours, so will a little brimstone. I don't expect us to get a deal with the devil on this floor, but that might be a good reason to use the Joker card. So. Or on the blue womb, actually. But I don't know how that works. So, that scares me a little bit more. Okay. Cool. Key pill is luck down. That sucks. Still have the Joker card. That scares me a little bit. <laughs> Not the Joker card, but that chest. The idea of opening it. Alright. Charge another shot. Yeah, by the time that we're ready to fire, Little Brim Summon is ready as well. So that's... It's an interesting plus. Don't give two poops. Would rather get a Spirit Heart. He's been doing a really good job of paying out with Spirit Hearts. I, I know that he can pay out with Spiders... And that's okay too, but like his his ratio of sp like spirit hearts to spiders right now is like prime. It's exactly where I want it. I know that you know I may have just jinxed it, but I'm happy about the way it's going right now. Get these nematodes out of here. Okay. Oh, can we please find the boss fight soon? You know, if we can get both shots in on an enemy, we're doing good work. Infested. Double, double red heart. Black heart. Damn, son. Little tiny enemy there. It's kind of cute. The fact that we can fire over rocks is still important. Even now. Alright. Let's go fight. It lives. I don't want to use our charge on it lives because we might not get a charge for the the fight against the hush okay stand behind dry baby 
Let Dry Baby do some work as well. If he can. Okay, just keep getting those shots in. Thanks, Dry Baby. Okay, he's dead. We're going to Joker card because we didn't get one. I'm okay with just taking the hearts. Blue Womb, let's fight the Hush. And we've got three minutes to spare. We did okay. Um, so yeah, let's open all these. Curse of the Maze, again. The only reason I want to be a little bit worried about Curse of the Maze is just in case. I think Flatworm's better for us here because we're going to have, like, way bigger shots. Wider shots, Rune Bag. It's a Rune Generator. A little chubby. Got so many familiars. See what's mom's box. Mom box. Mom's box has. There we go. I'm actually gonna take mom's box because I find it an interesting item. But that trinket is not one that I want. There's that one. So we'll stick with flatworm for now. But it doubles the trinket power of the trinket that you have. So we're going for it. Again, hush. It doesn't really matter what your damage is in the moment. Because, uh, he scales off of it, so. We're not too focused on being the most damaging. We just want to be the most survivable we can be. Gimpy would have been great. But we never picked, we never had the chance. So let's not think about, you know, could'ves. Or should'ves or would'ves. We just have what we have, we gotta go with it. Might have to just knock some shots in with a little brimstone there. Which isn't bad. Okay, we're on the second phase. Second phase, hush. Okay, stay behind uh, Dry Baby here. <laughs> Drop in shots whenever we can. Stay behind Dry Baby. Stay behind Dry Baby. Okay, move. Get a shot in. It's going to be a long fight, but I think we can do it. There's lots of really good items for this fight. Um, and I've been lucky enough to run into at least like one per round fighting the Hush. We had Samson's Ball and Chain on the last one. Which is a surprisingly good item for uh, for this fight. Anything that you can stand behind and block shots with is pretty excellent. Okay, hide behind. Right, baby here, he's gonna do extra damage. Now hopefully it'd be a little bit better at uh, clearing out waves with it too. So we can kind of or clearing out the enemy waves that he the hush spawns. If we get invincibility, we can always run in and do some damage with Cuban meat, but I wouldn't be I'd be a little wary about it. But yeah, that that's pretty good. We're doing alright damage. I don't think we've been hit by Hush yet. Which is, you know, that's a testament. Now I've been hit, and we're almost halfway through the fight. It's solid. The most dangerous part has not happened yet, though. So, keep that in mind. It's the continuum tears. It's the most dangerous. So. Oh! That tear, like, came at a weird angle. Okay, we're fine. Okay, get out of the way of the flies. The nubs are the most dangerous part here. So make sure we're getting rid of the nubs. Oh, thank you, computer. I did do the seed on this one, right? Oh, okay, thank you. We're fine. Dry Baby's doing work. Okay, we need to have Dry Baby be below us here. Then we need to have Dry Baby be on this side of us. Stand still. Yeah, dry baby on this be on this side of us. Let dry baby take the shots from the continuum tiers here. Wait, wait till the continuum tiers are gone. Okay, then we can start dodging again. That'll help us get rid of the nubs. 
Again, Dry Baby is one of our earliest pickups, and I think one of the smartest ones we could have gotten. So, stand here, wait for Continuum Tears to end. Or at least from this side. Okay, we're fine. Whew. Stay here, fire in, stay behind, Dry Baby. Oh god, we're gonna get Continuum from the other side. It's alright. Stay out here. We're fine. All is well. Let Dry Baby take the shots. Get rid of the nubs. Come on, Dry Baby. Okay. Whew. I preferred if you stood up soon. Buddy, you've been underground for quite some time here. Okay. Whew. Got one hit off on him before he went back underground. Whew. It's going to be a long one. I think we're okay. Just stay behind him. Oh, no. Not what I meant to do. Okay, get rid of the nubs. Oh, I hate it. Just come back up. Baby boy. Not happy about how much he spent, how much time he spent underground here. But I guess if he, if he thinks I'm gonna cheat him, he's probably gonna try to cheat me too. Get out of here. Jesus. Get rid of all these guys. Sit here like this. Okay, we're gonna need to go this way. What? I was definitely behind Dry Baby there. <laughs> oh god, lasers. Oh, all we have to do is beat this boss. All we have to do. It's our one goal. Come on, bud. Please. Please! Oh my god. What a dick hole. Can you, can you show your head? How are you still alive? No! Holy shit. I have a black heart. Betrayal has appeared in the basement. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so this might be the end of the run, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad that we beat him. Jesus. I think there are a lot of things we could have done differently, but um, I'm glad we lived. I'm glad we defeated uh, the Hush on this one. Don't think RU Wizard does a whole lot for or against us here. I'm more worried about them doing literal contact damage than the explosion damage. Still could use a tears upgrade. What do we got? The gas. It's a, it's a spirit heart. <laughs> Don't want the tick, because then we can't pick up anything else. So let's not take the tick. Whew. Key. Bomb. Double angel fetus. Spirit art. No. Okay. Per throw. Per throw is pretty good. 
especially if we actually make it to the chest and there's things that we want. Um, if we don't win this run, you know, we've still completed something. You know, we've still done work. I know we could take the Emperor card and go fight Isaac, but, uh, more important things to do. That doesn't really do a whole lot for us. Yara is abundance. Yara is better for us, <laughs> I think. All right. Should be no problem. Oh god, our rate of fire is so bad. I wish it wasn't so bad, but it is. Um. On we go, I guess. Like, we have really good damage. But our rate of fire is trash. Oh. Our tears are pretty big, too. It's nice. I just want one good trinket. I don't know what we want, but something's got to be better than flatworm. Oh, you bastard! So the time that I needed, I uh. What kind of trinket do we want? I don't know. Curved horn would be pretty cool. Uh. Something that increases our luck for the chest? I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, well, let's go fight Isaac. Don't hold your breath. I think this run... As much potential as this run has... Not being able to get hit twice on the Isaac fight... I don't know if it's super likely... But, um... You know... I might be able to swing it. Perhaps. Then, you know, if you make it to the chest, anything can happen at the chest. Oh, fuck. There's the hit. I was hoping that, uh... Try Baby would save me there. That's okay. We did what we wanted to do. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, please consider leaving a like or subscribing or just commenting in the sections below. And I hope to see you all on the next episode. Alright, see you guys.